Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will discuss a paper called Multimodal Chain of Thought Reasoning in Language Models. So large language models have shown impressive performance on reasoning by chain of thought prompting. However, existing chain of thought studies have primarily focused on language model. Now in this paper, they are proposing a new method called Multimodal Chain of Thought that incorporates language and vision inputs into two modalities into a two-stage framework that separates rational generation and answer inference. So essentially the idea is that when you are prompting the language model, you are prompting it with a question and you are prompting it with the vision input as shown in this figure. So for example, in this figure, they have shown an example where they are prompting the language model with a question, but along with the question, they are also inputting the vision input over here. And this vision input goes along with the question and some context to provide the final answer. And the way this whole system works is that the, uh, the, the model first of all generates a rational, that what is the rational for answering this question before generating the final uh, answer. And in this paper, they have shown that how this rational generation process is actually improving the performance on the answer generation, generation as well, which is very interesting. Uh, they have also shown that this whole system is performing uh, slightly better than the previous large language model input by around 20% margin, which is huge improvement uh, in terms of the overall performance on the science QA data set. So, uh, so this whole process of using the language input along with the vision input comes from the way humans uh, absorb information right so when we essentially like when we read books right so in a lot of books we also have images and text contains contained together in the books uh, and the way we absorb information is by uh, feeding in the vision input and the text input uh, together and that's how humans also learn and that's exactly the idea which they have been trying to incorporate in this model as well where they are trying to propose that if you use the language input along with the vision input, you can sort of improve the overall performance uh, of your own uh, language model. So uh, the previous work essentially in this area has been primarily focused on the language input as I've already mentioned. Uh, and this paper essentially tries to decompose uh, this task of question answering into a multi-step process where they first of all try to generate a rational which has been shown in figure one and then followed by that you 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 didn't generate the final answer uh, of your input uh, so essentially the idea is that uh, uh, so essentially the idea is that when you when you use only the language input right so for example if you are building a system where you are using only the language input uh, for your task of question answering right so your ability to reason or your ability to answer that question is limited by the amount of input you are getting in but now if I append this input with the vision input, right? Now you are you can have inf uh, access to much more signal and you can access this information as well when you're answering your question. So having this multimodal approach where you are fusing together the language input and the vision input can potentially uh, allow you to use additional information from the vision signal to answer the overall question. And you can imagine that uh, there could be another paper which can apply an audio input also together with it. And then you can have multiple modalities uh, fused together to answer a particular question, which can be very powerful, right? So just to uh, get a sense in terms of uh, where the current state of the art lies, right? So this paper essentially uh, brings uh, several ideas together. So for example, over here, uh, you can see there are multiple work which has happened mostly on languages. So all of these uh, papers which have came uh, on the similar idea and incorporating chain of thought reasoning uh, primarily are using the language input as their primary source of modality. Uh, and this is the first paper uh, in this work which is using the language input along with the vision input to incorporate this, uh, this, uh, this task into a two-stage process. And they have shown that uh, this two-stage approach is able to perform much better than the previous baseline. Now, in terms of the data set, I think I've already tested upon this. So they're using the science QA data set for their performance evaluation. So the core idea, right? So if I go back to the core idea, like what is the, how this whole system works. So, so the core idea essentially is that uh, 
let let for example let's let's talk about this example right so for example over here you have a question and you have a context uh, which you have to answer this question now they have shown that if they don't apply the vision features uh, there is a there is a sense of hallucination which is happening in the rational generation so for example if you look at the rational over here the rational is generated that the south pole of one magnet is closest to the south pole of the other magnet and as you can see this is not actually happening in the figure but now if i use the vision feature as well in my uh, input to the model you can see the rational is also very accurate so the north pole of the one magnet is closest to the south pole of the other magnet and because of that there should be a sort of attraction between the two, two magnets so this is where they are showing that if we don't utilize the vision features in the in the model input uh, there is a tendency of some sort of hallucination uh, from the rational and which can hamper the final answer significantly and as you can also see if they apply the vision features the final answer is also correct which has been stated over here so as they as they have already uh, touched upon right so there is a tendency of hallucination which is happening and uh, if they try to generate the rational they have seen that if they apply the vision features as well their accuracy or the rogue value of generating the rational is much more accurate and similarly that performance boost happens also for the answer generation where the performance of generating at the right answer with the vision features significantly improves uh, compared to without the rational generation so uh, essentially the idea is that the multimodality input contributes a lot uh, in terms of the overall system performance uh, so for incorporating vision features right so they have touched upon a couple of ideas in the paper so the first idea you can potentially try so for example you can imagine like this so you have this text input which you want to input to your model and then you have this vision input which you want to input to your model now one thing which i can do is i can generate a caption out of it so i can maybe use another model which can generate a caption out of it and i can use that caption to the input to the to the to my large language model as an input so that could be one thing which we can do but the problem here is right that this is another model which we are adding to the whole pipeline and this model itself can have its own sort of error percentage right so for example let's say if this error is making 20 percent error on the caption generation task that 20 percent error will have an impact on your final model as well now instead of that right we can use some advanced models which have been proposed lately so things like clip etc where we can instead of using a caption we can just generate an embedding from the vision input and use the embedding as an input to the more final language model and that could be that could be a very nice idea where instead of passing this input to a secondary model i can just directly pass my input to the embedding layer and then use the embedding directly to my uh, to my uh, language model now that's exactly what they are doing here so for example uh, so this figure essentially tries to tell like what exactly is the pipeline so for example over here you are have the vision input you have the language input so the first task is the rational generation so the way they generate a rational for the task and then this uh, rational along with the vision features get fed together to the model and then the final answer is generated so if you look at the uh, final pipeline right so this is how the pipeline looks like right so you have the vision input and the language input uh, so the vision input gets fed into a vision transformer or some sort of like an embedding layer and you generate some vision features out of it and then those vision features get combined with the language features and we feed these to our language model and we generate a context so we feed these two input together into the language model and we generate a rational and once the rational has been generated we combine this input together with my rational to generate my final answer so this is how the whole pipeline works and this function fx dash is generating my final answer so in terms of the pipeline right so there are two sets of pipeline which is happening here so first of all the task is to generate the rational and the second task is to take the input combine it with the rational and generate the final answer so uh, that's the whole architecture and in terms of the uh, algorithm right so that, that they have demonstrated the algorithm over here that you have the language features and the vision features the first task is to generate a rational as described here and once the rational has been generated you can combine the rational with the language input again and then feed it back to the model 
to generate the final outcome which is the answer uh, and they have described like what exactly they are doing over here so for example initially they are taking the language input which is the language question and the context uh, they are taking the vision feature which could be the image or a set of images they're extracting vision features from the input image uh, and using that to a edge vision vector and they're combining them into a single vector and once this is combined they're feeding it back to the model so you have an attention layer uh, combining the vision input and the text input and when this is generated you combine them using this formula where you have the language input and the vision input and then uh, this is this is fused together using a sigmoid layer so essentially they are used passing some sort of attention between the language input and the vision input to produce the final outcome now in terms of experiment they have conducted several experiments uh, primarily on the science qa data set so this is the primary data sets which we will use and these are the set of training training examples and validation and test examples uh, so for example they have compared this model with multiple other models and uh, most of these models if i am correct are essentially language based so all of these models which you see here are primarily language based and uh, this is the first model which they are proposing which contains language uh, as well as vision input as its modality so in terms of the comparison i would not say this is a apple to apple comparison but yes in a way it's a good comparison where you are trying to uh, argue that if i combine the vision input with the language input the overall performance uh, on this task improves uh, they have also shown that what will happen that if they combine the two stage framework which we just discussed uh, and what will happen if they remove the uh, vision features right so so for example let's say if you, if you if they take the full full model with the two stage framework and with the vision features so this is the kind of accuracy you are getting now if you remove the two stage framework if you remove one of the stages of the framework your accuracy drops by around 2% on an average but if you remove the vision features your accuracy drops by around 10% or even 12% right on on an average and i think this is a huge degradation so i think vision features are significantly uh, improving the overall system performance which is i think a huge uh, outcome if you look at it so this charts also describe like what is exactly happening for like multiple scenarios so over here you have one stage baseline which is with the brown figure and then one stage multimodal baseline so this is what is the what is the performance with the one stage baseline and this is the performance with the two stage baseline and the two stage multimodal so the two stage pipeline if we don't fuse the multimodality input uh, is performing slightly lesser with just the one one stage baseline so in a way i think uh, if we don't provide the rational or if we don't provide the vision input right so even the rational generation process gets hampered a bit and if we provide the vision input then the even the rational generation process and the final answer generation process uh, gets a bump in terms of the overall performance so that's a that's a, a nice outcome over here um, what else right so uh, in terms of uh, the various vision uh, algorithms we can look into so they compared several algorithms uh, over here you can see they have looked into clip algorithm the detr algorithm and the resonant algorithm and as you can see uh, with the one stage these are how the performance looks like and with the two stage rational generation and the answer correction uh, your performance improves by around 2 to 3% on an average uh, so yeah so i think that's the that's the overall paper uh, so i think it's a it's a good paper in terms of uh, using the language input along with the vision input to improve the overall performance on the task of question answering uh, and i think several of the papers will come along these lines as we go this year and i think this is a very good result in terms of the uh, uh, new state of the art uh, on this task so thanks a lot for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel if you like these kinds of videos.